Yo, yo, what's going on, Cowboys fans? Hey, just getting off work. Um, great day. Got some Cowboys stuff on. Uh, raining in D.C. right now. Hope you guys had a good day. Um, I wanted to do a quick topic because I was listening to Will McClay on the draft show. Um, Will's one of those guys. Obviously, you guys should know who he is. He's been with um, Vice President of pro personnel for the Cowboys for the last 10 years. Um, he's basically behind our drafts. I would dare to say he's really doing a lot of the GM work and a lot of the, you know, the grading when it comes to draft time and, you know, really just anchoring the Cowboys player personnel, uh, guys that they like, guys that they love. And I'm listening to this interview He's on the draft show and they're asking him some good questions and he's giving um, some very like political answers and you know how they stack their board. Kind of stuff that if you're into the draft like me, kind of stuff that you know, you know. Very status quo stuff. But when you listen to interviews, normally if it's a good interview, if you listen long enough, you'll get the answer that you want. And I kind of wanted to know okay how does he feel about this class what name and he you know he made up he made some really good points like will and let me backtrack will is a very astute evaluator and he used to be a coach and will is the difference between internet guys internet scouts um scouts who just you know like he said pff and kind of guys who just sit behind a desk and do it and have gained all this clout, but they've never coached or worked with kids or worked with people or worked with, with, with players. So, Will, he, he mentioned things, you know, like football character, football IQ. Um, he mentioned a play that I'll get to later, which really stood out to me. And I say, like, I knew Will was sharp, but this is what I'm talking about by him really digging in for details and not only digging in for details but understanding like this is how you want to build a team and Jason, Steven and the whole nine should be extremely thankful really to have Will on the Cowboys team like he he really he really he really is like a gem like he says something that made a lot of sense and if you think about it what happens around combine time with NFL Network with you know, a lot of these publications, pro for all these places, they just grade big, grade fast, grade, grade size, grade, you know, stop stopwatch, you know, and, and they go crazy. Look at DK Metcalf, you know, but there's a there's a real disconnect between what the Internet thinks and what NFL teams thinks. And we saw that with the safeties in this draft class. We saw that with a player like DK Metcalf. Hell, we saw it with you know corners like greedy williams um and and what i mean is uh, an, a, an an example like greedy greedy is a in this is, an, is a very sticky corner but the fact that he doesn't like to tackle like he won't even throw his shoulder in there he's he's a very like just kind of just barely try to get you to the ground type tackler is a problem and was a problem for a lot of teams um the taylor rap situation and taylor has some really good film but Again, these safeties kind of, and I, I'm, I was Taylor Rap guy, you know, to the death of me. But he said something about Tony Pollard that stood out to me, and this is why I did the topic the other day. That you know, Tony Pollard. Not only do I think that he'll take Tavon Austin's job because I just Tavon hasn't played enough football in the last couple of years, and with Dallas. He made an impact, but it wasn't one that you say, you know, you signed him on the cheap so you can cut him on the cheap. Um, but he said, you know, we went to the senior bowl and he said, Tavon, I mean, he said, excuse me, Tony Pollard is special. And he highlighted the play that I showed you guys three months ago. And, and he said he had something special. It wasn't a run. It wasn't a speed. It was the fact that like he said, linebacker crushed him, all right? Um, he was explaining the play that happened in the senior bowl. Linebacker lined him up, all right, and cranked him. Well, this is where football character comes into play. As a back, and this is what I, I try to paint the picture for you all, as a back, the mentality has to be 
do you go in a shell? Do you duck wreck next time? Duck wreck meaning do you run around this player? Do you run out of bounds? Or do you lower your shoulder and you try to run through him? And you know what Tony Pollard did? All 211 pounds, he ran through that backer. And that's what football character means. He also has some gems talking about, you know, Zeke. Basically calling Ezekiel Elliott, I mean, excuse me, uh, some gems about Mike Weber. Basically calling Mike Weber a lesser version of Zeke. Um, and you kind of see that. The difference is Zeke has that explosiveness to take a a 20-yard run and turn it to an 80 yarder and do it again and again and again with that long stride and that explosive, you know, I mean, Zeke, like, I mean, Zeke, I've been saying he's a once in a generational player. Um, and again, beginning this draft period, I said a priority of the Cowboys would be to get younger um, in that running back room. So is the writing on the wall for Rod Smith and even probably Darius Jackson? Yes, because there's been times and opportunities where they could have given Darius Jackson an opportunity to play, and he just, he just, they, they, for whatever reason, they didn't trust him. Um, and you think about even players like Bo Scarborough, they just didn't meet the, the 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 bill. But you think about a guy like Mike Weber, who for some scouts had a third round grade on him. I know the Cowboys had a high grade on him. Um, I just think that when Will McClay speaks. I listen. I think the Cowboys fans listen. And I think that it was cool. I'm not going to say I was validated, but it was cool because, like you said, I'm telling you now, I'm, I'm really willing to go out on a serious limb here. You know, the Tony Pollard pick is going to be looked back at as an, as an amazing pick in his draft class. All right, Cowboys fans, I just wanted to get that quick nugget off my chest. I'm on the ride home. Um, from work. Hopefully this rain goes up so we can have a good football practice. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Uh, more content coming soon. More content coming soon. Hey, you guys make sure that you keep watching that creep video. Send it around to your friends and family. All right, Cowboy fans, it's your boy Foots. Peace.